Hello and welcome to this video. Grandmaster Black Coffee, who is that? There is no name. Okay. So maybe I can get my funky attacking line going. No, not with this water. That's a bit of a shame. I always like to get that in. Hmm. Yeah, here I, I don't have such an attractive line, really. <laughs> I can play the same stuff, still bishop c5. No, probably. This is of course uh, far less aggressive, yeah, compared to the line where um, castling is delayed and h5 becomes a quite serious option. So here um, he will probably play his knight to d5. Mm, yeah, I had something like that. Queen d7, knight d2, bishop h3, knight d5 was an extremely annoying. Mm, is it that annoying? Okay, queen d7, but I cannot be sad, that bad. Knight d2, bishop h, no, he's uh, doing that, okay. And that makes sense, of course. Preparing bishop to h1. What about knight g4, yeah? Playing, oh wait, actually, um, is there something? Mm -hmm. No. I don't know, knight g4, is that, this is an extremely that's very caveman style, but I really have a soft spot for those caveman moves sometimes. And now I five. Is that is that completely naive my attacking play here? Maybe it is, but f four. I mean, f four looks kind of dangerous. Sometimes the white play in in these English lines, English lines. It is sometimes a bit too sophisticated. I'm not sure if this is the case here, but I had the same uh, thing myself playing white. Yeah, and you play those those uh, sophisticated maneuvers and and whatever, and then all of a sudden, yeah, the other guy just swings the hammer and you're dead. Okay, so f4 was the plan, and I'm not going to refrain from that. I mean, f that feels really dangerous to me. Maybe he plays e takes f4, e takes f4, and then d4. That uh, certainly is coming into consideration. And no, knight d5. Well, here I will probably take and go from there. A move that I feel is interesting here is e4. Hmm. Just to make sure he doesn't block my bishop so easily with d4, but this is not easy to do anyway. So I'm probably just going to double. Use all the pieces. Yes, that was to be expected. The thing is, if I take, he still has this issue on that diagonal, on here, this a7 uh, d4 diagonal. Well, let's double first. Yep, he plays again all those sophisticated moves. But we'll see. Um, if I take, he has to take with the d-pawn and he covers the knight just about. Hmm, quite tough. Yeah, I can play something like that, say knight to d8. And then knight like, c6. I wonder. Yeah. 
looks a bit slow. I mean, he has knight f4, by the way. That's a move that is possible. And it was possible the move before. Yeah, here I'm basically committed to to sec to exchange to the exchange sec, but it's not something that I mind all that much. That um, feels kind of standard to to sec the exchange. Here, yeah. What do I do? Knight e6. Trying to take with the knight there. Mm, yeah. Objectively speaking, I'm probably in trouble, but it is still quite quite a messy position. How to how to how do I do that now? Takes that diagonal is extremely weak. Okay, I think I'll do this first. Yeah, so he's got some checks now, like here, and maybe. Time warning. Maybe a uh, queen on the light squares. My bishop here really sucks. Mm, yeah, not good. Check. I, he defended this well. I'm I'm really not sure, but I thought at the beginning of all that I felt I had a fairly good good position. Okay, now I have to trade. And yeah, that's the thing. My bishop here is the worst piece ever, and he's got rook a8 coming. really feel like that was good for black it looked very dangerous anyway so I have to resign black him resigns. it feels he defended this well and at the beginning at that certainly I don't know that looks dangerous to me but the computer is not I mean okay it is not really all that deep now with 18 depth doesn't doesn't see anything but here it's it sees a black winner actually so rook f7 so I'm winning here but I didn't okay so I should I should avoid the capture of course I should avoid the capture how how bad is that I'm threatening e4 bloody e4 and that that's the winner already oh my god yeah this is a lot better and I don't have the e file open for his counterplay Okay, so that was the key moment. Interesting. And the engine gives some weird rook move. And now knight e7, simply trading his best piece and then go e4. I mean, you you have no... no your king is really in trouble here. So that was the opportunity. So this was a mistake. I was thinking that I have this... Uh, that I should take to actually weaken d4, but... It, it really isn't the case yeah and this this was was already putting me into trouble I can still take and be okay and to move b6 simply prying this open hmm. yeah but the big opportunity was not to take yeah clearly that was stronger I mean here I, I don't necessarily need to lose but yeah. I lose now yeah <laughs> okay yeah, he defended okay yeah, after I've played this band move Huh. Okay. Thanks for watching.